the birthplace of Candida. Came from the side of the British, from the Buckingham Palace, because it's a perfect ground for million and one conspiracy. And the way they have sold this Candida to me was, I already mentioned, by destroying my immune system on every occasion. I have found myself on quite a few occasions, even in Ljubljana at Clinical Center for Urgency where they would bring me to do also dialysis, not only in Novo Mesto, because of due to blood poisoning that these people have performed on me through. This problem, whatever you want to refer this, I actually, for me, it's difficult to find the words for it. And the way they have sold me further this crime was by insisting me on a stuff that doesn't make any fucking sense on how I'm going to eat the stuff like this if it doesn't taste good to me. That was the question to me from my niece under MK Ultra. Basically held captive, drugged up, and questioned whether I like the taste of curcuma and carvey and stuff like this. But this is the stuff that actually kills candida. And to tell you the truth, no, I don't like this shit. And Candida, nobody ever had in my family in my lifetime. I never knew a person who would have a fucking Candida. I knew nothing about what Candida is. And so what they did was they make the food that is otherwise deterrent, destroyer of Candida, a natural deterrent destroyer can be the under MK Ultra. They made one repulsive as much as possible. But yeah, the authors of this crime against me are in London. These are the royals who figure out that it would be best to destroy me already in year 97. And so it's no wonder in 99 brought here since 95 they gave support to mentally disturbed niece of mine Urshka Golob Weber because she was mentally disturbed that's why they gave her support in crime against me they were looking for the weakest link in the family and from within that link they upgraded crime and within four years from 95 and 99 my sister launched her dog at me she started to train dog to attack me literally to attack me when i was drugged up she trained her was a schnauzer and they used much bigger dogs german shepherds pit bulls and when you're drugged up you cannot even defend against schnauzer really and the dog doesn't appear to you the size of the schnauzer when you are drugged up. And schnauzer can be bad anyways. And she trained him on you know, what they calm her now. That means that they systematically were brain infecting. They were systematically injuring psychologically entire poisoning, brain poisoning, along with the neighbor's entire family against me more and more and more when they realized the entire family is already completely fucked up demented then they turned the opposite way then they went for 360 degrees 180 degrees they went in the opposite direction and they started to calm them down what actually even pissed them more um no they did a lot of crimes. Now the person who does crime, what the person does, runs for the rest of the life as far as they can run. Uh, Candida, what they refer to as a cancer, you piss that in a bowl and you keep this somewhere so one day it becomes handy 
uh, for you to have, a, if you ever going to cure yourself from the cancer. They wanted me to treat cancer, but they, in fact, they were infecting me with a candida and they were destroying my immune system for no less than 25 years whenever I was poisoned under MK Ultra and infected with candida. They made candida explode in my body, literally. Through everything that medical science knows about came across people that guaranteed me i don't know that i'm gonna have some kind of a chronic problems with a candida and so on you're gonna have one uh, like one in a million but you're gonna have one but you're gonna have one people from canada people from us britain canada in this case britain i just read the news site on my Android and read the comment which was already posted I don't know was it reposted this comment or was it not because it doesn't state the date or whatever it is but that was the person who was inside of this house telling me exactly about what you, what kind of problem you can have this is not radiation this is not any of that kind of stuff this is no cancer this is candida and you pick your nose uh, you see you're gonna have a candida um, I don't know what they did really with my toes on my feet but that shit exploded in 96 when I went to United States of America, 97 actually. That's Candida actually, this is all Candida. Uh, this Candida, what it does to you, brain fog or cognitive impairment, then what it does is it does a chronic, chronic fatigue, it basically kills you. The physicians that were involved in MK Ultra in Poland and in Slovenia deliberately disregarded urine um, I am trying to think about this stuff I got to think about whether they even took the urine from me because it was everything was a lie everything was based on lies everything was based on lies um, and you know they had samples before i am just trying to find the comment because it's a such a stupid comment uh, but it's a comment basically they made me read when i was drugged up so that i would I recall this stuff when I read this stuff. I don't have anything to be thankful to these Canadians and Britons. These people destroyed my life and made me really, real, real health problems. Very, very serious health problems. Because of this here now, hopefully I will avoid death, basically. Um, it's like this, Harry demanded for me to, because he did, he demonstrated to me how he's meditating, and I asked him, what the fuck are you doing eh, with this, uh, and he said, meditating, he always, any, any conversation he had with me, this criminal always started with what you don't like, with the stuff you don't like. I do the stuff you don't like. Exactly. And then he went down uh, and he explained his crazy issues to me on about the stuff that I don't like would relate to a healthy issue for which, however, 99% of the time cancer was the one accented radiation and cancer where 
Yeah, but I still have to find this comment. <clears throat> Let's see this here. Ah. Uh. So it's got to be this here. Yeah, they they ended the scenario with a brain fog and death basically that's what that was so th that's pretty bad because what it does to your brain i i don't even know how i would explain i have to find this comment now well let me explain something else about the fruits about the fruits father always sits on that side and i always sit on that side right there in the corner Mother told me under MK Ultra always is going to position a poisoned fruit on this side like this. It's going to be poisoned. And for the father, it's going to be on this side because he sits here. No, that's my family, basically. Maybe this is what explains the most all about my mental illness and paranoia and stuff like this. What kind of family the fuck is this? You see this here? Look at it real good. It says right there. It says lungs, liver, heart valves, intestines. Trush can easily be spread to other parts of your body, including your lungs, liver, heart valves, intestines. You see? And that's exactly the stuff I was also talking about. British royals would come like this in the house. When they drug me up, they would come in the house and the table before it was positioned here. My table was positioned here and when I would sit, which was completely, completely normal thing, my legs were like this and I would scratch the wall. Now the wall was beautifully painted by the guy from the village and this is exactly why the wall was painted with a color that is fluorescent blue light blue and would come inside of the house i'm just giving you an example how they treated me in my home environment to sicken other people with it and it would be ah oh, ah oh, ah oh, dirty ah oh, ah oh no help for you, no fucking way out until you fix this, until you fix this. Rough, man, rough. I was hospitalized at the time, acknowledged as paranoid schizophrenic, tortured to death, basically, inside a psychiatric hospital. And I get a message like this, without having job, without having any money, without absolutely having anything at all. Andrew said, because 
he did such a good job, the painter did such a good job, what you did, what you did, what you did. You know what they did? They got the neighbors together, and, this, and not only neighbors, but other people from abroad as well. And they put the paper here, like paper like this. And they started to fuck with this thing. They started to play with this thing with um, how much you would need paint to cover this and that. You're going to paint and you're going to paint and you're going to paint. Oh. You know, MKUltra, they told me it's the same like a paranoid schizophrenia. It's almost the same. It's almost the same. Uh, with the exception that if you do identify people, and these people just happen to be with a really high profile, but you do have so many proofs, it could almost be the same, but it's not the same in this case. In this case, we're dealing with the people that are beasts. What happened with this shit here? I fixed one. I went to the store and I purchased for Euro a tube paint and have used three quarters of it still have left and little by little i'm gonna go and cover all this scratch but how far did one of the people is a south african who lives in the u.s now i'm just gonna say this how far the fuck did go it did go far as this this was a little bit poured with a coffee cup one time when I had a table it, it went and I just went like this with uh, I don't even know how you say that stuff um, to just wipe with the water with the liquid away I couldn't because it was already blue here from the other paint because they were fucking with this stuff and they were throwing back literally the stuff and told me that he did he he told me he said i went a little too far i uh, i scratched the wall a little bit too far to to make it disappear when they were playing with this shit so it was up and down and up and down then give me an idea go get somewhere else the paint and then you go and you cover with that paint whatever you get from elsewhere that you wet in the wall. You go and you uh, mask, you camouflage this, uh, whatever it is. That's basically is odd, odd, odd paint, blue one that you see right there. Because, because they used so many times. They were fucking, even with this shit here, they were fucking wrong. Now, this is actually real. And the day I started to repair that wall few days ago a queen posted news the next day looking for a painter for less than 30,000 pounds per year and it was under MK Ultra we exchange I was looking for the job I said back then you know you wouldn't give me a job oh that with the wall stuff I did twice and I figure out so what if I did twice because the table was over there anyways and who gives a fuck? This is my problem. This is nobody else's problem. With the table right there, nobody can see any of it. Because it's a, such a table that it's got something down like this halfway. And it completely covers that thing. It never was a problem. Always was like this. But with these people, it was a problem. Because they moved the table to the other end of the room. Uh, and so on and so on. And try to make the whole thing as sick as possible uh, without proofs I have about identifying other people if I would go about and say st such a stuff they were doing these people to me I think I would be in a lot of trouble but this is a stuff this mental illness this is a stuff that Buckingham Palace London actually is producing I'm sure that you know what oats is. This is oats. It's bio 
as I was taken to the local store here. It's a German store. Although they have this everywhere, but it's a German store. Spar is known. The name is right there. And I was told, when you see the right food, this is the food you're going to buy. And you're always going to carry this with you because they're going to poison you the food. I don't think that this stuff here is actually a cure for candida. I don't think so. Um, but it's good for a lot of other issues that's going to help clean liver and stuff like this. That's why I use this today. And I use this not only next to this stuff here, but with what I was told, you love, but you're not going to be allowed. It's a cookies. It's a cookies that mother bought. Well, basically, I am like a toy that they fuck with. They put whatever food combinations and then they observe what's going to happen with me, what am I going to consume and what's going to be the outcome, if predictable or not, and this and that. Man, uh, these people in Buckingham Palace are mentally ill people. Severely, severely mentally ill. And they are a threat to society. They are as dangerous as it gets.
We have a humor we never had before, but now since returning from my, from Poland in 2021, we have now this thing here. We have this kind of stuff in 2020, sorry, at the end of 2020. Now we have this kind of stuff, and that's a humor. Um, making sure that some sick shit is translated to me through the stuff I was told the case is going to be when they had me here drugged up. How Candida is treated for much milder shit that I had? Uh, it's treated basically with, me with antifungal medications. You can see here, this is basically how you get treated. It's really a treatment that exists for this. It's not about what I was told, drinking water and making incredible distances every day to stay alive, to clean the blood, basically. That's what they demanded from me. So what they wanted to do with me, if you look at this thing here, they wanted to wear me down, basically psychologically, physically, and get me killed based on lies, on a false diagnosis, medical diagnosis, and so on. That's the only thing. They wanted to kill me physically, uh, actually first psychologically, physically, and even spiritually. Even yoga was the thing. Even everything I was doing was the gig. Now, I know that this place here is situated with the cameras, for fact. Well, what you see here is what my mother is drinking three times a day. Half a coffee cup she feels with a cappuccino, with an instant coffee. This is her favorite, what you see right there. On what she would pour hot milk, boiled milk inside without any need for sugar, anything like this added. She triggered, due to amount of consumption of this thing, a suspicion with psychiatrists who insisted to her that things are not going to go well along if she's going to be doing triggering attention with such amount of purchase of this thing inside of the stores. That's how far this thing went. Now she's 80 four years old, 84, I'm 50, but if I would do this, I would be dead the next day, I think, or same day. They cook all the problems, it was always, they will do to you, they will do to you, you know? After they cook all the problems against me, it was, they will do to you, they will do to you, but when I came to the UK, when I was hijacked to UK, or I was hijacked to USA, or Germany or whatever place, what was it? What was it like? What what were the people that you see in Hollywood, people with a money, with a cash, what were they trying to accomplish? And also poor people, people with the same shit like here, looking for the jobs, looking for opportunities to get by through. What were they doing? They tortured, they always tortured to degree, to the limit that one would become insane. But referring to Slovenia, it was always what they will do to you. Even Joe Biden, even Joe Biden, with whom I was in Ukraine at Zelensky, tried to fuck Zelensky in front of me. Tried to make me believe that the car that I will purchase... Through American mechanics, through through American mechanics, through specifically with Zelensky because he stated in front of Zelensky and when you come to Ukraine to Zelensky, you're gonna work next to him, you're gonna be next to him, and you're gonna be capable to show him your food. Uh, 
and I was like, what food? You know cancer, the stuff that we talked about. <laughs> and Zelensky declined. Didn't want to be part of that joke. Joe Biden, however, was honest enough to tell me that before this meeting with Zelensky, he had to do his dirty part. So he was doing his dirty part on behalf of somebody else. About them, what they will do to you. Prince Harry was very, very detailed. He stated through very unpleasant scenario, you know, from brain fog, basically to permanent death, basically. He insisted once you will, if you will get to this degree and learn about this candida problem, if you ever will get to this, right? Here we are. I repeat to somebody 25 years that he has a cancer and do all kinds of shit in this person, uh, including a surgical problem, which he did to me in Belgrade in 97, if not probably 96. And person somehow gets to degree through complete deprivation of sleep, brainwash about what's going on with him. He had a backup scenario. He asked somebody else in front of me because I asked, and so that's going to be it. He said, no, how the hell? You pointed out me a solution, and if I get to this solution, there will be no, no solution for me. This was my logical question, as drugged up as I was, to Prince Harry. He said, no. Okay, what started, only if you will, you will find solution and survive. So, and I was like, so that's it. That's all there is to it. I never was into any kind of candidas. I don't know. That's a crazy shit. Bad crazy shit, really. Never thought in my life about stuff like this because I'm just health-oriented individual with very strong health. I have this kind of brain fog condition, after all, already since 2017. So you have to be strong, right, to survive this kind of stuff. Uh, he said, no. So I said, so to them what? If, however, you somehow will get to this, and he turned the other guy, and then what you're going to do to him? Okay. Uh, then what you're going to have, you're going to have a brain cancer. You're going to have a brain tumor. They will radiate you, and you're going to have a brain tumor. Because no matter what, when you're diagnosed, with something like paranoid schizophrenia, they're always going to resort to some other solution, even if we point out what it is. Basically, it's what he was trying to tell me. I don't know about the British royals, why they're so freedom-loving people when they resort themselves more than anybody in this world to a psychiatry, to the forced hospitalizations. Not to psychiatry, but forced hospitalizations. Anybody that dares to cross their path in Canada or United Kingdom is just disappears, is just hospitalized, forcefully hospitalized, folks, in case you didn't know. There's a, quite a few people call themselves um, maybe activists, whatever you want to call this, because it's fucked up when they do the stuff to you. And it's pretty much that these people have a lot to do with MK Ultra, the so-called MK Ultra. And none of these people ever get through. None of these people ever get anywhere. And so they call themselves activists, they call themselves all kinds of stuff. However, none of these people ever gets through and they are threatened with hospitalization with forced hospitalization, completely normal, decent people, uh, just 
some of which only fight for human rights, let's say of indigenous Canadians or other people and so on. But still, it's always a psychiatry. Whenever, they, whenever any of them mentioned something about royal or something like this, either in Canada or United Kingdom, it's always a psychiatry that follows up from this mental health experts as Prince Harry refers himself to. Uh, and so Prince William is also a mental health expert. They are all fucking mental health experts. They are freedom loving people who which however all are mental health experts uh freedom loving always embracing the for <laughs> the violent world of psychiatry the comment i wanted to mention to you it says here last updated in january 27 2022 lisa richards whatever katie stone um it says here candida diet but this is the comment right here this is the comment right here this is the first time today i read about the candida and i couldn't miss this comment but people were doing this kind of stuff this kind of comments they were doing all kinds of stuff like that uh to get jobs to get their businesses going even to get customers and so on in 2018 okay so that's possible uh more credible i'm gonna say no it's possible it's a factual uh but in 2018 fane kreiner on march 27 2009 suffered with the candida for over 35 years found a doctor uh, who diagnosed me and treated me and got better but to this day have never gone back to eating breads because of yeast the least 10 years the last 10 years have had a terrible flat up again since my doctor who treated before has since died i cannot find doctor affordable that will even acknowledge the problem i'm having with a candida this lady was terrorizing me under mk ultra with what i believe Folks, I was the least paranoid person in the world. And I continue to remain the least paranoid person in the world. I don't resort myself to any kind of paranoia and stuff. With the candida, the fatigue, brain fog, chronic. But you know, when they reject you the health care, which you pay for. And you don't have the right to medical examination inside of the hospital. And you're diagnosed, labeled with stuff you have nothing to do with come on now brain fog chronic uh, horrible lost my husband of 50 years 2015 hate cooking for just myself can't seem to stick with a good candida diet and need encouragement and help and stuff and this and that nah, 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 nah. that's what they blame me for my diet and so on and so forth that this is going to be uh you but you have to stick to this but you have to stick to that to my diet, they refer to as everything you don't like is what you have to eat. About everything you don't like is what you have to eat. But in real life, I never had any kind of candida problem. What they did to me in 2017, they refer to this as we did something to you, but... If you can fix this within like week or something like this, maybe you can still save yourself. And if not, not. I had no idea what they did to me. I, did, I didn't know what they did to me. But they did to me whatever they were usually doing to me under MK Ultra. However, in those MK Ultra sessions, they would do a blood dialysis and they would obviously give me they would treat me with medications against candida in this case in 2017 they didn't do anything the only thing they did was they pushed me through the psychiatry to poland actually through ukraine to belarus my intention was to go to russia 
and then to Slovakia and from Slovakia uh, to Poland and so on and so forth. That's all there was. So this is just the way it is. No, this is uh, this is the comment from the lady, and I mention you in Miami. They associated me with the people that it, it would be impossible for you, for you, for any one of you that that um, to create always a negative opinion about me. That was the idea in front of other people. It was this individual in Miami who was guilty for his own skin condition. And what kind of skin condition was this? This guy was an obese guy, and he had a heavy chemical imbalance in his body, naturally, maybe, I don't know. However, because of his obesity, things didn't go any better, but you couldn't, but literally put like this to your nasal, uh, to your nozzles. Sorry, I'm not... Uh, English speaking person I am just uh, using English language to get by so I might not get everything gr grammatically spelling correct and so on uh, linguistically especially when I'm expressing myself about all these crazy issues uh, if you got this guy on a distance if you approach this guy i'll tell you he used to work as a security officer and they used him to terrorize people people fucking terrorized in miami in this condominium seeing this guy i think they prayed god to stay alive you couldn't acknowledge one as unpleasant to be around with you couldn't acknowledge uh you couldn't say anything you couldn't afford to say anything because you were immediately rated as a racist as a intolerable as whatever you want to call this whatever you want to but let me tell you I used to work as a supervisor at this company called Elite Security. And I would go and meet these guys and also take these guys to different posts, locations. And this guy was just a very hardworking guy. But he had this other problem, which was, if you ask me if you can treat that stuff, he should be definitely given opportunity to uh, the right to a permanent uh, disability. No, 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 you don't understand. Uh, if you came to the distance of this guy on 10 feet, you could do other than this. If you sit inside of the car like I did with him, this guy was a world record with this one in i don't know maybe 10 million people maybe even 100 or maybe one in billion people dysfunction you know you'll sit inside of the car with him and you went on for like five minutes with him and you would keep the odor for the next fucking month with you and it's the kind of people they used literally to acknowledge me. He was Latino, a racist, intolerant, and this and that and da 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 da. Uh, I'm saying this stuff because in this section right there about this candida, whatever this this is, this is um, this site where I got this comment from. Uh, maybe it's the site, maybe it's another one. This is I read this morning. Candida diet, whatever it is. You, you can go and you can check this stuff. This side gestures on how 
you should actually, I don't know, I'm not going to say peel your skin, but brush your skin and do all kinds of stuff that when they talk to me about the stuff like this under them character, I thought they are these people or they lost their fucking mind, literally. And they also involved the issue about this guy from Miami, how I was nasty to him. Fuck, I never was nasty with him. But what I stated to you also are the people acknowledged that five minutes next to this guy inside of the car meant you're going to smell this guy for another, I'm telling you, six months, not two months. Because it was such an odor that would drive you insane. And this is a very, very irregular odor. This is not the odor that would be like odor like odor. But it was an odor of impossible it, it smelled almost like some kind of um it was a skin condition that that it was like it, it, it was like an order that i don't know was it was it was it like the order that he had was it was this like his natural order or was it the order like this because he applied a lot a lot of uh probably i i don't know what he used, the more of that stuff he used, the worse it was, I think. And it was just a poor guy because he didn't know what to do with it, man. Because he had to go to work and it was extremely humiliating, difficult for him to greet, to interact with the people with a, such a skin condition. And that's why I said that this is definitely a disability issue, which, however, these people in the U.S., Obviously, they, they, uh, they rejected the one the right to disability. And he just had to go to work and he had to meet people, guests, whatever, wherever he was. Uh, and for that matter, because he was just, he knew how terrible this thing was. He was applying, uh, I don't think only a variety of deodorants, but also all kinds of perfumes that the whole thing make even worse, worse than worse. And I would be the one that would go and pick him up uh, after he would already do sometimes even 16 hour shifts and stuff like this did you know that he had even more odor and so on it's just very very difficult situation and it was always this kind of people this kind of circumstances they blame me how bad how evil I am and this and that uh, why I must pay and all kinds of crazy bad crazy shit that you possibly can imagine I mean, you can't imagine a real evil of this shit. This is just difficult to even explain. But really, uh, even psychiatrists, shit they did, they did for the sake of the jobs. Even psychiatrists, they had to do it. If they wouldn't have done it, they wouldn't have no jobs. They would be jobless. And maybe even killed, destroyed, maybe wasted completely. When you talk about these people from London, these this people definitely have a lot of choice. They can choose in between. They have money. They 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 don't have to do the stuff like this. But it, it, this is their choice. This is the kind of choice. This is this is the choice they have made. That's their choice. This is how they go by. And I really don't condemn myself. I have not made any mistakes. It's better always to be betrayed than to betray. I still stick to that issue. I will never change the concept of that issue. Even for the cost of uh, bullions, these people load on their Swiss accounts. Because this is what I think a betrayal equals to. But I still think that it's better to be betrayed than to betray because it's a piece of sanity with you. Maybe you can go through hell like I did. But still I have a peace of mind. Something next to me. Maybe I have nothing. And I'm sure these people killed a lot of other people. Nothing in material sense. I'm also not a very spiritual person in the sense that I would pride myself on having nothing and take some kind of pride in revenge through the truth or something like this. 
against these people. There is nothing I can do if the law enforcement stands by people like this and protects them and encourages them and acts on behalf of them in crime and is abusing their issue to do more crime and so on and so forth. There's nothing I can do about that stuff. This is just this is just world. This is just basically the way it is. But still, uh, I I am with peace when it comes to myself because I don't I don't have anything to hide. I don't lie. When I drive the car, if I drive the car, I don't I constantly have to look in the fucking mirror and think about somebody following me around. somebody contemplating something who will do something bad to me and i suppose maybe this is exactly what these people wanted from me to become a paranoid to become you know what the paranoid is paranoid people are the people that and just look at what these royals do all they talk about is poisoning food poisoning and poisoning and poisoning and food poisoning and poisoning and poisoning, and poisoning, and poisoning. fuck I never did this in my lifetime. When these people started to talk to me about this, about this shit that 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 I'm gonna have to and peel the skin and uh, I didn't peel the skin and I'm gonna have to. Uh, Vladimir Putin insisted that I'm gonna have to wash myself. And what is good? So what's good? What's good for this kind of condition that they were fucking with me under MK Ultra? And it was Putin who repeated it to. But you don't like to shower yourself. That I don't like to shower yourself. Hmm. I like to shower myself once a day, but that's all it basically that's all I do. Once a day I shower myself. That's plenty enough for me. Because when I shower myself, I shower myself with a soap once, just I demonstrated them. And then what I do is I apply soap. A second time and that really does neutralizes uh, it pours everything and I'm not a beast anymore with the other end that keeps you clean dry without any smell maybe even for two days so why would I go and stash myself with, pride myself on showering myself 10 times a day? Vladimir Putin apparently does three times a day. Uh, and the truth is that with the candida, I suppose, that when you take a shower, because I noticed this, every time I did so, I felt much better. I felt relief. But this is the disease they did to me. I will not forget when I sit inside of this room, at this table, sometimes in 99, something like this, with my mother, paper, sister, and they talked to me about the candida. They mentioned to me candida after several years of this cancer bullshit already. Probably this was even in 2001. They mentioned to me and so this is basically what it was in respect to candida in respect to paranoia radiation and shit they have gone as far as and i did so because i didn't know what the fuck went on uh pointing me out how my watches are going to be dirty watches why Vladimir Putin has a watch, how I'm gonna, just like a Vladimir Putin, have a watch also on my right wrist, not on the left one. And I say, how the hell are you gonna accomplish that shit? I'm never gonna have on my right. I'm always gonna have on my left. I know. And so they started with the paranoia about the watch radiation and the paranoia this violence was tremendous you know what the brain fog is you know we you don't understand how that feels like 
and so they started with this paranoia they started with the paranoia insisting me one by one how in six months the watch that has electromagnetic radiation can drive you completely insane and the biggest joke of Vladimir Putin was a radioactive watch a radioactive watch that the last watch that I will buy ha 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 it's gonna be a radioactive one I don't know how being radioactive feels like I don't know how what it cancer feels like because candida will do cancer to you cancer are like symptoms if not cancer to you it feels no good it feels like a shit it feels like a shit when they are even making fun of you even more like a shit when you turn the computer on and it's stuff like this and you go and they 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 torture you jerked up in your home environment and they, they leave you traces and bullshit everywhere and they tell you they're gonna let poison gas poison inside they're gonna poison the food and they put the poison actual poison around laying around all over the place so you can see it so you can recall the stuff they promised you they're gonna do to you when you go to sleep and you hear somebody poking through the holes like this through in a scenario lighting up about and other holes that I have about how they're gonna let the gas inside how they're gonna gas you a little earlier when I mentioned arsenic what I meant by this is they talked to me about the rice also what kind of rice you have to buy so you're not gonna get arsenic and stuff like this uh, but arsen American psychologist Daniel Rex Smith told me that they're never gonna do that to you but they do shit they do some kind of shit they do because it makes me sick like yesterday what she prepared me was very bad day six months i had this dirty watch six months i had this dirty watch i deliberately talked to you like this a little bit not connected so you're gonna go across the day i'm like this literally very well versed strong background so i do it like this literally so this is going to sit in your back brain that's why i do it like so you're going to understand my problem because that's what mk ultra was like for you much easier to understand watching this stuff than it was for me going over this shit for 25 years connecting dots about the crime they did to me never giving clear clues about what this and that never give you clear clues always leave, leave you with assumptions never allow you to rationalize your thoughts six so i had six months walking over there maybe five kilometers from here some french guy insists me so i had six months this watch forget it i thought i would go insane with this sound that I have spoken about in, in this shh, feels like a blood pressure maybe like a brain tumor I thought I would go insane with this watch that you have to be very careful this and that uh, okay I did exactly what they told me to do just to realize there is a, there is like a little cheap that is attached you buy one for one euro from ebay whatever but it's a good radiation blocks the radiation that's what they promise electromagnetic frequency radiation uh good to have that stuff on telephones even on watch you can have it the thing is that the other day i purchased four watches from china for just seven euros eight euros deliberately to see what's going on with this radiation watches came i opened them and right there when i opened them watches were 
it looked like it was radiation because every time you would go it would be bing 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 little did i know because of the brainwash they did to me little the hell i knew that both up and lower paws where you see the straps attached to it are magnetized so the watch can function i knew nothing about this stuff i thought that they are just battery powered and i bet that 99 percent of the people in this world doesn't even know this i said 99 percent i said that one out of hundred maybe knows this to me i never pay attention to the stuff like i said i'm the least paranoid human in the world i would never ever assume any shit like this any kind of that somebody was gonna plan something do shit to me stuff like this never and i was just worried about jobs and other stuff not about shit like this and that's exactly why these people pick it at me they pick it at me because they they are looking for the people that are not paranoid because those are the people that are the easiest to manipulate, to destroy. And they're the most, as they refer to, as fun to fuck with. And so four watches displayed nothing other than radiation, which in reality was a magnetism. Then I removed the covers of these four cheap watches and realized that it was very little to radiation inside. It really did display maybe some radiation that's why i attached that cheap except for the other watch that i have like it's like a smart watch plastic that one really goes up to three thousand microteslas whatever the hell that is all my washes are they appear to be okay more or less okay so how do you make a person wear watch on the right hand as they promised me i'm gonna do it the same like a putin through the theory of the blood clots, through the cancer theory. Blood clots, it's gonna be blood clots, blood clots, and blood clot can kill you, uh, leaves you brain dead. Uh, cancer, you're gonna have a cancer. We did to you this on your veins, and they did something on my legs. They did how much, what they did, I don't know, but it hurt when they did this. And I did wrote about that stuff on my blogger, on the blog. But how do you make the person wear the watch on the right hand? Well, blood clots, apparently this is due to damage on veins. That's how they brainwash me. And that's going to be done to you when you're going to go next time, when you're going to have a medical examination, make sure that we already did something to you on your wrist right where you have the watch but next time when you're going to go to medical examination the blood's going to be taken right from there to you and if you're not going to stop the nurse it's going to be a blood clot that's going to form itself uh right now you don't have a dirty watch we took we're going to take one off as soon as we are done here but when we decide we're going to give you we're going to plan to every watch is going to be a dirty watch and so I did go to the medical examination in what psychiatrists would refer to that as a real time, right? A real time because you're not drugged up. And really, it was a pre-employment health examination in Miami. And really, the lady reached out and took blood from the upper wrist vein on a wrist rather than what usually the case is claiming there is no blood there and i don't know what and they this this like this twice and i didn't give a shit as i stated i'm the least paranoid individual but years later now you're talking about that shit was done i don't know maybe in 2003 2004 maybe years years later almost two decades later but no less than 18 17 years later 
I recall this shit walking here observing when they give me this with the telephones they brainwash me with the telephones how with the software how it's going to be electromagnetic uh, radiation so it's a radiation it's a radiation and uh, uh, this is the one this is this is what's gonna destroy you this and that this is this is the radiation so if you're not gonna detect this watch on time in respect to this radiation what's gonna happen is mm -hmm. let me just demonstrate to you you got this this is a like some kind of a radiation meter this is a watch and this watch is magnetized here and here and when you approach this to the sensor you're gonna see sensor will go completely crazy why is it not going crazy now because it did put the cheap i think maybe is why right in the rear and with this kind of paranoia like this in actuality you your problem you're facing you're faced with now there you go and it's it, it really leaves a psychological impact because you get the watches brand new watches from china from aliexpress and you open them and every watch is like this and i did demonstrate it you right about how my packages all my packages were open before i got them I demonstrated you. I proved that every one of every one every watch I got already was activated. Every one of the watches I got, and I got about maybe even ten watches, and it's video recorded. All of them already were activated with the batteries on. So it's a it's a, it's a it's a brainwash supported with the stuff like this that does not even stop. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you something that does not even stop with with this kind of stuff it doesn't even stop with this kind of stuff um okay okay calm down calm down it's just a magnetic it's just it's just a this poor thing somehow got stuck no this is not the radiation or maybe this is the radiation yeah, this is somebody radiating me right now. Hmm. What the fuck is this? No, but this is just going crazy more and more. Okay. Let's not forget about something else. This stuff is connected to the Wi-Fi. Oh. Ouch. Even the car tires I have here. Because of this kind of stuff. Because of opening my packages. Destroying me things. Look. They don't stop with this brainwash. They didn't stop with radiation they figure out i'm gonna find out it's actually magnetic this thing because they involved both issues one issue they involved in was dirty watch and the other thing was how we are gonna fuck you and it's actually not gonna be uh 
with electromagnetic frequency watch, excuse me. They also talk about nuclear radiation and stuff like this. And I took the watches to the fire station to have them inspected for any kind of nuclear radiation for the radioactive anything radiation and there was none so they anticipated they're gonna they're gonna brainwash me into how they have magnetized me deliberately this stuff how they magnetized me to fuck me they instructed me how i have to inspect these things because this is when if i repeat we're gonna see whether you have enough knowledge to even be a journalist or not and stuff like this is stuff that you do because some of the watches are going to have a real electromagnetic radiation and some are going to be magnetized well this is basically if you a level of mk ultra brainwash if you ever get to one then you realize it's actually magnetized but still you will not know that watches this kind of watches analog watches are magnetized because they have to be magnetized so they can work and you will not know this stuff because they will they magnetize me also the watches that are digital watches they also magnetize me those watches which otherwise according to a watchman repairman should not be magnetized because they are digital so then you have another degree of conspiracy in your head well and then somebody magnetized me because you don't know that this kind of watches are magnetized and this and that right how the fuck you're gonna be you're gonna come to the theory that maybe it's based on this principle that watches like this are magnetized you will not come to this issue because they magnetize you they, because they magnetize me also digital digital watch i'm not gonna go this go about 3000 micro teslas this watch but this watch here for instance this watch shouldn't have really this is a smart watch it is but still this watch is magnetized this watch is not this watch is really not emitting any kind of transmitting any kind of uh electromagnetic radiation this watch here and so they create such a bullshit that you would run to the internet and you would tell the people that eventually somebody is magnetizing you this watches and somebody did magnetize this watch there is no doubt about it somebody did magnetize this watch so either way you would do this stuff either way you would do this stuff then i don't know what's going on with this stuff this is crazy where is this stuff coming from at all and now it's normal again okay good so this when you when you when you approach this is magnetized this stuff is magnetized you're not supposed to you're not supposed to do this you're not supposed to do this and it's right here that's magnetized same like other watches so this you're talking about this yeah smart watch but this is not really so smart it's just a digital watch and let me see something else in fact this is a mechanic watch that also shouldn't be i think magnetized but it's magnetized and i don't know should it be or not And here you have a Casio watch. Also shouldn't be magnetized.
but it is magnetized. Before somebody somebody yeah Yeah. Okay, listen, let's just go. It is. It definitely is magnetized because when you see that, I think jumping like this, I think that's probably, I would say, more connected to magnet or something like this. I don't know. Listen, I don't have a time for this stuff. Let me explain. How do you make a person wear the watch on the right hand? Well, if you're going to have a blood clots because of the stuff like this, because you're already completely fucked up, because you go 24-7 for five years with brain fog, eventually you're going to start to think that really there is something that is, that, that really it's about the, blood clots and stuff like this and i demonstrated you this is this kind of stuff this kind of stuff does have a severe impact on your heart valves it is it sure is really dangerous And so what's going to happen is because of the stuff that I told you about, eventually you can go and you can, you can replace wearing your watch on your left wrist with a right wrist. So this is, this is borderline criminal. This is a borderline criminal stuff. And that's the kind of stuff they were doing to me. This is just the kind of stuff. Video I'm about to show you right now, next, because I'm done with it. I'm done with this bullshit. But this is a bad, crazy shit. And these people are not, these are not a good people. They're not legitimate people. German made fuss. Germans. And it was Scholz, and it was von der Leyen that were here, insisting me in front of parents about the nuclear radiation right down below on how the stuff they do, they shouldn't be doing for me. There is no other radiation inside of the house than that one down there. I'm about to demonstrate you right under my room. There is a radioactive radiation and it's the stuff they shouldn't be doing. And I pointed out at Putin. And they also did like giving me a sign that's not enough of the radiation. And then Either somebody did imitate this American psychologist, Rick Daniel Smith. I do not know. But whoever the hell that was, even if he was, he acted pretty freaky and crazy, insisting that that's the one that when you're going to do that one, when you're going to post this one and you're about to see next about the nuclear, about radioactive radiation under my room, uh, that's going to close all the problems for you this and that bullshit and ta 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 so they, they get you in a, such a psychological state of mind that you would go and you would rush with a theory that imagine being fucking brainwashed that you are what they talk about they're going to bring the suitcase with the nuclear radiation all kinds of shit and open that stuff right under my room and stuff like this and this is going to fucking blast here when I'm going to be sleeping and stuff like this. When my mother imitated all the garbage giving 
if you want to call this subliminary signs, I said these people should be already in the jail. Once they start doing this to you and this and that, and that's that's it. Yesterday she blasted the door at one o'clock, at half one o'clock in the morning, so I couldn't sleep. Under MK Ultra, I was explained that at that stage, at that stage, they're going to be. If you're not going to be at least upright in your room at night, because they're going to be doing this at night, because they do it at night because nobody see them, then it's going to be over with you and so on and so on. This is completely fucked up. This place, this neighbors, this people. But they still didn't prove anything. I still rather to be betrayed than to betray. And it's going to stay like this till eventually police is going to do their job. And beyond. With the watches, with the watches you, you completely screw yourself up. With the watches you completely screw yourself. Even if you go and you tell that, that the watches that you just received by the mail and they were all analog watches. They do have, they, somebody still magnetized them. There was a neighbor here, two houses away from me, police officer, Method Yerman, who incited that. At least you're going to have that. But then he did took me to the city to see other stores. In case you will not recall this, unless you go and you do it yourself. You see, and that's already almost, almost like they say, MK Ultra, MK Ultra, it's a schizophrenia. That's, a, that's the same like a schizophrenia. How will you know the difference? No, you will not know. Fuck you. After this case, the world will never be the same. It took me to the stores throughout the novel, Mesto, and literally compared these watches. Uh, for which, however, they insisted me to go check only the watches that have their activated with the batteries inside, because you can't see the radiation. You can't see the radiation if the watch is not activated, right? So that's why they activated me all the watches that came by the mail for me to see that they emit some sort of radiation with their idea that I'm going to assume that this is the way it is. 99.9% .9 of the people, 100% of the people that will be drugged up and gesture this kind of shit would assume like this. But I didn't do it. I took the covers off, I took the phone, and I inspected to see where, where exactly is this radiation on this watch, this spot. Where is this thing transmitting this stuff? So I can pop the sticker right there and block on that part the radiation enough so that I can wear the watch. Because they, they push me forward down the throat already. How I should buy myself a mechanical watch. This is in pretty, they said. You gotta buy yourself a mechanical watch. They were trying to sell me mechanical watches already. And so it goes from one issue to another. You don't get sleep and the only thing that happens is they beat you up, they beat you up, they beat you up on every step of the fucking way. If I give you one of those audios that I record about the sirens, about what the fuck went on here with this Kirka Pharmaceutical Fire Department, what they were doing here and private security companies you're gonna say this this is fucking unreal like I am in a New York City or somewhere where all you hear is siren wow 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 no one of the videos like this you post online claiming something about this stuff that that's that's like oh yeah it's a uh, but but somebody magnetized, but somebody magnetized the watches. Already this kind of statement. It's enough that investigator, that somebody from European Union Court for Human Rights, which they declined, they, they engaged in crime. From people from Interpol engaged in crime. 
people from United Nations, top boss engaged in crime. Oh, he knew all about this shit. For me, knowing it's indifferent from doing it. Because you didn't stop. You didn't act. You shoot. You failed. It's what duties requires you to. Enough. You make a statement like this. You give the reason to individual like this to look the other way, to not see you. Go along with this official psychiatry definition they labeled you, they branded you with. That's enough. That's what they look for. For you to understand what this shit is all about. But I still figure out somehow that washes in fact because of what i have seen that 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 they're magnetized here and they're magnetized on that's got to have something to do with the way it functions because if we go through the internet which i i have recorded a separate video about this nowhere is explained what i stated to you and everybody resorts to idea that this is radiation and then the the next thing that you have in you in your head because of this electromagnetic radiation because of this Android that they brainwash you with how to block this radiation, right? So how do you block one? You don't. It's so successfully hidden on how to stop electromagnetic radiation on analog watch that I almost felt like I'm genius when I came to conclusion that Actually, I recalled the local watchman who was involved in MKUltra, and I also identified him with other watch people that were involved. They gathered all together. They gathered sometimes in 2003 on how they're going to start to work together with this watch business, expand and this and that. Um, 2002, 2003, they did some renovation of the building over there in the city and so on. And that's where they used to gather. Listen, it's what he told me that some watches do have a special coating in the back. If they're good watches, like more expensive Casio and so on. And it's this kind of coating that blocks the radiation from going through through the case, through the watch case. And so what you would do, as I was told, if you can ever recall that kind of stuff from MK Ultra, you would, from watch is more expensive, but it's not working, and you would use that cover to glue that one with the chip in the back of the watch. And that's exactly what I did. Um, I didn't really even have to. I realized that stuff. But if you, in case you have this kind of problem maybe you can try this i don't guarantee you anything um it's sure it's sure but when you think about this kind of information what are the chances that you are actually going to come to this conclusion that's actually based like this and one statement that you make is enough in fact to label you as a paranoid schizophrenic think about a tunnels motion detector lights game tunnels under the house and this motion detectors the hall they left over there open on the road what kind of bullshit this is think about hypnosis think about hypnosis and think about how criminal this stuff is because this isn't hypnosis. This goes far, far, far beyond hypnosis issues. This goes beyond subliminary stuff. It is called brainwash. This is when you are not allowed to think. And when your psych, physical, health more than psych as i stated i'm the least paranoid person in the world is exposed to extreme physical demands circumstances deprivation heavy deprivation of sleep through the poisoning issues 
that is reduced to at times oftentimes to three hour four hour of sleep with constant stuff like this and all kinds of other health issues that's fucked up uh, this was just my case this is what my case was so I don't know anything about this British Royals as freedom loving people as people that you see in the newspapers always smiling uh, cheering in a parenthesis positive things I don't know anything about this I don't even feel betrayed to be honest uh, there is just people like this too and it's people like this that will stay like this till the police are gonna do their job okay so good luck to me with the police I am trying to be sarcastic they instructed me on how even empty bottles uh, I see on a stairways I shouldn't use when I go for a walk demanded from me to use this to use large amounts of water while walking and drinking 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 and doing exercise so that a cancer uh, a blood would clean itself they hear that's like a natural dialysis and it's the only way it's going to keep me alive not picking up even the bottles empty bottles from the stairwells stairways because of possible contamination poison poisoning those that's what the frequent trespassing into the room was that's the kind of paranoia now go on a fucking statement uh online on the internet and make a statement on how you uh eventually that, that they poison you even even the the bottles and stuff like this that's my family this is the type of environment i was subjected to and that's what 100 percent slovenian as well as the foreign governments have relayed on that was their main weapon against me was these were my closest family members basically this is what the crime was concentrated by my mama my papa my sister my niece her husband and then also some other rotten relatives of mine pretty much they held the family they didn't have to held one for the throat because the family all this shit goes to year 1995 as I stated my niece I don't know how is with the mental illness I believe that depends on the type of the mental illness so I don't know whether she still is mentally ill or she did cure herself I believe that people like this with her mental illness never ever can cure themselves but she has a good job she completed a university and her mental illness instead as they insisted they referred also to their to Alice to the mother of Prince Philip is going to be thrown on me instead and so on and so forth people you actually don't want to have anything to do with whatever the hell you are and if you're dealing with people that help you have to watch behind your back because they are absolutely everything but what mainstream media depicts them as that's why Poland when in Poland in 2018 2019 and 2020 
it all started with a lot a lot of drinking of hot liquid with huge distances I would cross on foot daily just to get to the nearest city it would take me about two hours and a half one way to get there to the library maybe even three hours I don't know how long it takes from Grotniki to Zgirsh library that's how it all started yeah something everybody involved in MK Ultra in Polish Hunger Games did then if you remember it went into extreme when there was no no toilet once I did go on my own inside of the torture cell location in Lodz Gorna remember I rented a place a room which actually a room like a little studio which had no toilet inside in fact it had no toilet if you wanted to get to the toilet you would have to exit go out in the yard and then upstairs and head toward toilets I don't know maybe each time that would be almost like maybe 4 yards or you would exit and you would have to go right across the yard for which I was told by the family that lived there that prefer not to have um, they just wanted me under MK Ultra they already told me they would prefer for me to go upstairs where you have those shared uh, toilets where they had those shared toilets so this here second to none this was a solution to use this rather than to go each time back and forth back and forth back and forth especially because you needed something warm I remember what the winter was for me when I was on my own it was the winter without absolutely any kind of heating anything freezing inside of the tent on the bed inside of the tent so covered with whatever so I heated myself inside it just goes from one bot to the other it all connects sugar yes because they brainwash under MK Ultra how I should buy myself a car one of the things about this car is it was not only about to learn which cars you like so they branded me as a Nazi if I like a Mercedes or BMW or Audi I was a Nazi automatically I was just labeled as a Nazi boom it was with everything like this including with the clothing and it was just the day before yesterday I met the guy with a lady whom I'm looking forward to talk with have exchange they terrorized him they intimidated him because my preferred shoe brands were Nike, Adidas, a New Balance, New Balance, and so he had a gray uh, sweatshirt, I think, yeah, with big MB written New Balance to remind me of the hard time they gave him in respect to the shoe brand which I embraced therefore because he had those that was the Milan Kuchan in since 2000 in Slovenia since 99 if you had any of those you automatically were branded as a Nazi Milan Kuchan demanded all but Western products no Western products you wear the shoes you were a Nazi you want Alfa Romeo car you are a Nazi a BMW you're Nazi 
Audi Nazi, Volkswagen, Hitler, Heil, Hitler, your Nazi, and so on, and la 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 la. La la la. You know what the fucking Dementia is? Dividing people, Slovenian people, on blue eyed, brown eyed, blonde, brunette, black, haired, whatever. That's a Milan Kuchan. La 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 la. In 1995, I jumped on Milan Kuchan and Pahar when they came inside of this house like a German shepherd. I wanted to tear them apart when I was brought here from the US. I didn't want to have them anywhere even 50 kilometers around. I, wanted, I didn't want to have them in Slovenia. These are the people that demanded for our military to lay down weapons in front of the Serbian aggressor. In war, same kind of war you see today in Ukraine is taking place by the Russia. They wanted to annihilate us. And this is the people that walked inside of this house, inside of this room, have a talk with the parents, which embrace them. I have no idea due to fear, love, whatever it was. But this is how a dispute between me and my parents came about since 1995, my sister, my niece, and so on. That's all related to my men to my niece is mental illness. No, she really had a mental illness. Um, the mental illness they say instead they're gonna pass on me. I'll take one from her and pass on me. Or maybe she was so fucking crazy, insane that she just acted to have one. Because this is such a rotten people that nothing really would surprise me next to people like this. Candida, yes, the first thing they do is they take your urine and they analyze that. That's exactly what it is, but this is not cancer. This is Candida. Candida can kill you too. Uh, I have no idea what's worse, but the first thing they do in your medical examination, they take your urine and they analyze that. What is good for you, everything but the stuff you like to eat. It's what I was taught. Everything but the stuff you like to eat. And the beast that shook in anger in my face when I was jerked up repeating these words. No more cookies, no more chips. No more chocolates, no more this, no more that. You're fucked. Now you're gonna see. Ah, it was no other than my niece, my mommy, and many other people, including the two guys that were returning from the work in Germany, from Berlin, and who met me? Involved two Bosnian guys, involved in MK Ultra. I don't know since how long ago, whenever I was brought to Bosnia. But you know, job in Germany and Bosnian Federation with somebody like a Dodik, Chetnik Dodik. They too wanted to remind me of no more chips, no more chocolates, no more this, no more that. But I audio recorded it too on my way back from Poland to Slovenia. And I don't want to thank the two. The world knew about this stuff. Even the priest about five kilometers from here, probably four kilometers, Schumpeter, not even this, three kilometers maybe from here two miles from here, I always go by, who was involved in MK Ultra, who traveled to Miami to meet me, drugged up over there in Miami, who saw all my whereabouts, Slovenian priest. He assured me that I don't have a cancer, but at the same time he wouldn't tell me what exactly I do have. 
people knew, the whole world knew about what I had and what not. Cookies are good for you. This is right under my room, basically, right under my room. Um, it's exactly what the Germans told me. This thing here. This is for radioactive stuff. There you go. Look at it. They told me just put in here, so I I remember from MK Ultra. No, I don't want to have this fall somewhere. But that's all, all I supposed to do and record basically. And there you have it. That's a nuclear radioactive radiation we're talking about here. And that's basically exactly where I slip right here. What exactly can this shit do? Can this shit be remotely operated? What is in here? What is this shit here? Without anything too damn smart, uh, I'm just gonna be plain clear. The brainwash was from Slovenian side and from American and from the Britain and from everybody. In different from the tunnels under the house and how people go inside at night to gas me, to attack me with uh, directed energy weapons. This was even better theory because that's a modem. This is router, that's a modem right there. Modem that belongs to the internet provider company in the hands of Milan Kuchan. For which they insisted me all the leaders around the world against whomever I'm gonna write the news, whatever news, with a click of the button, they're gonna release, unleash in me. Exactly what you see right there is also nuclear radiation, electromagnetic radiation, all kinds of radiations. My niece's husband, he's got a doctoral degree in the field of electrical engineering, electroengineering insisted on how he did all the necessary installations required for him to obtain his uh, PhD something Germans insisted me how genius, how genial was. And for this here, the Germans insisted me, oh no, this is what we shouldn't. This is between, only between the us. Putin does not know, bad boy, Putin doesn't know about this. This is just to help you. Here, here, this is what it is. And just as I stated, they got few freaky people from the U.S., from Britain, who, of course, insisted me, even imitated Daniel Rex Smith, psychologist from the U.S., crazy acting. On once I do this, everything is over, then I won the case, basically. So, that's a modem, the internet modem, and that's what they wanted me to come about conspiracy theory that would I would pull to discredit myself even more that this is actually the source of the nuclear radiation radioactive modem that could trigger radiation blast straight into my room and uh basically destroy me no i don't know how i would express myself to this lunacy candida candida is well it's just exactly what you see here this is what candida is 
What exactly can Candida affect? It can kill you. Affects blood, heart, brain, eyes, bones, and other parts of the body. Um, it's not a fun thing. I'm actually thinking what exactly in this world determines mentally ill and mentally sane. And I would say in my case, I would say, or true, I believe it's for every case, different. I am not going to associate and I'm not going to generalize anything. I'm not going to put myself, I never did, into any basket. But in my case, definitely did. Privilege. It goes beyond money. It goes into area of giving certain people the right to abuse police, a law enforcement, not only human rights organizations, at their advantage in crime against helpless. And the more one is helpless, it appears the more one is attractive to the people from London, from Buckingham Palace. Look, remember when I mentioned you the wall? But that's exactly the next day the news came about. And it was the painter who painted this room that did exactly as he promised, that they promised me, would do. Meet me on my way back from the city with his, well, passed by, okay, passed by me uh, on my way back to the village. And that's exactly, exactly this thing here. And it's actually less than even the average pay, if I understand. Uh, it's how it was addressed in the mainstream media. So, you know, when you say, what exactly these people know about my whereabouts? I think they know absolutely everything about my whereabouts. But for all the wrong reasons. Aha, uh -huh. the pay is less than average for a painter and decorator in the UK, which was translated to me under MK Ultra. You want to call this MK Ultra? You want to call this MK Ultra? I don't. It was translated to me if the job is going to be poorly done, it's going to be the painter who painted the room that's going to come and inspect. It's going to be the pay is less than average for a painter and a creator in the UK to remind me of that bullshit. <laughs>